So you have a Senyo Roku TV and you have an issue we're experiencing. Maybe you have a uh, black screen or maybe it's flickering black screen if you're just like on the regular TV channel or if you're watching a movie or show. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys three solutions to get you up and running right now. Now the thing is, these three solutions will help probably about only 60% of you guys, okay? Okay, so for step number one, what I want you to do is make sure you have your TV on first. And while you have your TV on, go to wherever it's plugged into, like your wall socket or whatnot, and then pull the plug, wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in, and then turn your TV on, and then see if you have any black screen or flickering black screen. If you still do, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to restart the TV using a special key combination on the remote. Okay, so watch very carefully. So here's my remote right here. The special key combination is this. Watch closely. Here's the home button right here. Press the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. We'll do it together. Ready? Home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. And then give it one second. It's going to act all funny. It's going to do its, uh, have a mind of its own for a little bit. Then it's going to freeze on the screen, and then what's going to happen from here is going to reboot the TV two times. After your TV is booted back up, go ahead and see if you have any uh, black screen or black screen flickering issues, okay? If you still have an issue, then, then we're going to go ahead and reset your um, audio slash picture settings, okay? So first thing is go ahead and grab your remote, press on the home button, and then left in the left pane, we want to go all the, go all the way down to settings right here, and then move over to the right. Then you want to go all the way down to system right here, then move over to the right. And now we want to go all the way down to advanced system settings. Oops. Advanced system settings right here. Now move over. Now you're on factory reset. Now move over one more time. And right here it says reset TV audio slash picture settings. So if you want to proceed, you need to go ahead and press the uh, play pause button right here. Press it three times and it's automatically going to reboot the uh, TV. This only takes like 15 seconds. But once it's booted back up, go ahead and see if um, you have no longer have a black screen or flickering black screen issue. Now, the last step I have, I mean, you can always try a factory reset as well on the same page. If you go down here, you can factory reset everything. But you need to move over here and you see like a four-digit code they give you. You need to input those four-digit codes and then go down to OK. And it's going to perform the factory reset where basically it's going to reset everything on the TV. And once it's done with the factory reset, it's going to be as if you bought it brand new and took it out of the box. Now, the thing is, if you have a completely black screen and you're not able to do a factory reset, you can't see nothing on the screen, then you can always do a factory reset using the uh, button on the uh, just on the TV itself. You don't need to use the remote. And I'll have a link below how to do a factory reset without using the remote just on the button on the TV in the, uh, in the description or in the comments area, okay? Anyway... Let me know which uh, option worked for you. If it worked for you, let me know what um, option worked for you and also give me a thumbs up. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. Like I said, this should help at least 60% of you guys, okay? Good luck.